Stan and I have just one weekend and around $2,000 to make over this laundry. Now, Amanda, one of your favourite topics is colour. So what shade of black or white are you going to put this in? <laughs> Simple but transformative ideas for whether you're renting or on your own home. Plug in your power tools, let's go. So Stan, here we are in a laundry and these places get a fair bit of wear and tear. That doesn't mean we need to compromise on the design or the function. Well, you're exactly right. Everyone spends all their money in the kitchen and in the bathroom, right? So the laundry really is an afterthought because it's sort of tucked away in an area of the house that no one sees. There's definitely a few things we can improve here, Stan. Where well, do we get started? One of the biggest things is the dryer, but it's not ducted to the outside. So you've got all that moisture coming into the house. So one of the first things we'll do is get that ducted to the outside. Now, the big old dinosaur on the corner. These have been around for a number of years. They've done a great job, but I think it's got to go. Yeah, she's a little bit old, isn't she? Tubs nowadays need to be deeper, they need to be wider. We've got a lot to do in them. We've got to clean sporting equipment. We've got to clean linen. So what we're talking about is, is possibly a bench with a good size sink in it, yeah? Yes, a bench. That's something this space severely lacks. Because that's where you fold clothes, it's where you put laundry baskets. We've got a great window with natural light in here, so a nice big long bench would be a great way to use the space. Now talking about space and functionality, I think we need to get rid of the carpet. So carpet's not a good floor surface for a wet area, uh, Stan? It feels pretty good underfoot, I must say, but I think we'll just cut this carpet back and put some flooring down there. That sounds fantastic, and that all means we'll have a little bit more area for a bit of storage. It's a laundry space, but it doesn't need to be boring. Personality is just the thing this space needs, and we can do that with a little bit of colour. I think we can inject a little bit of the homeowner's personality in here while still making it a vibrant, bright and exciting place. Well, Amanda, as they say in the trade, time is money and the clock is ticking. Our plan for this laundry space is to make it more usable, functional and stylish. Big picture, we'll pull up the carpet and lay down a vinyl plank flooring. Next, we'll ditch the old laundry tub and install a bench top at working height, along with some cabinetry for storage. We'll put in a new sink and a contemporary but durable gooseneck tap. Next, we'll install a splashback to protect the wall in a wet area and paint the walls a soft blue. The finishing touches include a floating shelf with a rail to dry clothes and a coat rack to get bulky items organised. Together, these affordable changes will completely transform the space, creating a practical yet modern laundry for the homeowners. Now this looks like a proper laundry. Yeah, it feels a lot better, doesn't it? And a huge amount of space to strip down a complete motorbike. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Let's start with the best bit in the room, this flooring. It looks fantastic. It's blonde, it's modern. That's our snap block flooring, which is really inexpensive and super easy to put down. And it really defines the space, creates a bit of a zone, which is what we were trying to do, and also gives you a bit of a wet area. Exactly. Now Amanda, a part of our brief was to create a bigger work surface, which I think we've done quite nicely with this bench top. Straight off the shelf, three metres long. That matches in really nicely with the flooring you've chosen. Got that wood grain effect. Now supporting that bench top, I've booking it with a couple of cupboards. Cupboards are essential in a laundry because there's so much mess you want to tuck behind these doors. And I've added a little pull handle on the front. Easy to get to, but it tucks underneath this bench top so it won't catch on any clothes. Now the great thing about a blonde wood floor stand is you can put almost any colour with it and it looks really good. So I've chosen a light blue for the wall. I think it's a nice refreshing colour for a laundry. But I want you to tell me what you've done with a splashback. Yeah, well I mean to be fair we could have used a tile up there, but this shower line product is super durable, once again inexpensive, and it goes up really, really quick. Now man, one of the things that annoyed the heck out of me was that big old dinosaur of a tub that was sitting there. So we've scrapped that and put in this lovely deep overmount sink. And I've picked a gooseneck mixer because you can take that detachable head off and get to all corners of the sink there. Great for cleaning sports shoes or big duvet covers. Uh, and also motorcycle covers. Absolutely not. And stand to pull it all together, I've added a few little finishing touches. I've put a floating shelf above the sink, and I've actually tucked a handrail up underneath. It means you can let clothes drip dry straight into the sink. 
and I've also got a coat hook here that can take some of those big heavy items so they don't end up in piles on the floor. But because we've added a few extra bits in Bob's stand, how do we do on budget? Well the budget Amanda, we used all of it, right? But let's break it down. Essentially you've got two cabinets straight off the shelf, flat pack, mm -hmm. right? And a bench top to go on top. Spend a little bit of money on a sink and a mixer but for the amount of money we've spent in here, it's going to add a huge amount of value to the space and it looks absolutely sensational. It really does, and it looks amazing. They're going to have a lot more fun doing laundry than they were before. It's going to make doing the laundry a lot less painful.